Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Alex Real NFT Plays Adopt Me guys. Guys and in this episode we're going to do things very different now. This is going to be more of a series and um, it, it's mainly dedicated for those who are either starting off in Adopt Me or who have been playing Adopt Me for a while and are trying to get to those high tier legendaries or get to their drink pads. Um, and, and so we're going to kind of talk about some strategies and what to know and how to go about maybe a, a quicker way of getting you to your end goal or your goal, right? Uh, so I know some people's dream pets is like a crow, frost dragon, bat dragon, and uh, strawberry shortcake, bat dragon, and all these other pets. And so there's, there's a ton of different ways to go about it, right? But we're going to talk about this in a sense of, you, you know, you, you have limited access to Robux and you're there grinding trying to age up pets trying to trade all the time and you might be starting to get somewhat frustrated because your offers aren't good enough and people continuously reject you um and it does get a little frustrating from time to time but that's what this series is mainly about guys is i'm going to show you some tips and tricks um and kind of uh help you all along your journey uh, to capturing your goals of getting those dream pets, uh, whatever it may be, right? So, you know, the first way I want to start off is, you know, in order to know how to get your dream pet, you need to know kind of the trading value of it, right? And, and so value is based on what you want or how long a pet has been in the game or how popular a pet is or whatever it may be, right? But this way, it kind of gives you an idea of what your pet is currently worth what it's trading for um what people are offering for it and what offers are being accepted so the first part is knowing that so you know what to work towards you know what kind of pets you want to try to start targeting when you're trading and what you want to get so there's a site it's called adoptmetradingvalues.com putting it right here on the screen so it's adoptmetradingvalues.com now, the values themselves aren't 100% accurate, but the trades are actual trades that have happened. And um, the values at least show you more or less where your pet is ranked, uh, the pet that you're trying to get, and what you want to do. The reason why this set is important, right, is so when you're starting to go through the process of trying to get to that dream pet, you know what people are offering for it, so you know the value, and you know what you need to try to get to be able to get that so we're going to start by going over to adoptmetradingvalues.com and this is the site here and so when you first go to adoptmetradingvalues.com uh there's several things there's a thing that says win fair loss that lets you know if the trade you're offering for currently is a win whether it's fair or it's a loss then they have the pet value list um the pet value list you could do it with pets only you could uh, go with everything added so far into the game. But in order to keep it simple, we're gonna say pets only because it's pets and eggs. Um, and the top tier uh, it is definitely very accurate. Uh, the top tier is obviously the most valuable pet in the game in Adopt Me is your Shadow Dragon, followed by the Bat Dragon. Uh, currently, the um, Blazing Lion. Then you have Giraffe, Frost Dragon with a... Um, with the safari egg, which is the oldest egg in the game. Then of course you go with your owl, your parrot, evil uni, crow. Then you have your blue egg. Uh, then you have the jungle egg, pink egg, farm egg, and so on, right? So this is the value list. This is where it kind of gets a little where it's up to perception um, and what people want, what they don't want. So like when you get into roll 14, right? So. The way to view this is in roll 14, the turtle is the most valuable in that role. Then is the flamingo, lion, Dalmatian, blue dog, emperor, uh, black pheasant, diamond, um, diamond Amazon. So this is kind of that value list. And this is something where it's very good to kind of go by to kind of see where the, your current pets are ranked. So if you got legendaries, um, you could kind of come to this list and see, well, where are my pets currently ranked, right? Um, so perfect example, guys, if you have, let's say a legendary, uh, let's just say for green pheasant, cause I have a bunch of them. Uh, green pheasant is ranked 31. It's a legendary. Now there's different levels of legendary pets, right? So you're not going to want to trade a green pheasant for say a Baku, uh, because that'll be a loss if you have that pheasant. Now, if you have a Baku, 
you could try to trade up to a green pheasant because that'll be a win for you. Uh, but with that, guys, this is just a guide to really help you understand where each pet is ranked and what people expect in trade value. So, uh, as I said earlier in the video, uh, one of the important things to do is go to this list. And let's say your dream pet is a crow. You're going to click on the crow. Once you click on the crow, it's going to kind of tell you uh, the origin of farming, uh, items close in value. So you see all these megas. Uh, and all these neons and different things like that. Then you're gonna come down, and as you scroll down, you're gonna see what people are actually trading their crows for. So this is what offers have actually been accepted. So if you notice here, this crow was traded for four fly ride turtles and a neon phoenix. Um, this one was traded for a bunch of megas and neons. Uh, then you come down here, you have a Neon Cow, Neon Lava, and a Cerberus. Um, this one you might think is weird because here you have a Fly Ride Crow and a No Potion Crow. Uh, and it's a crow for a crow. So guys, truth be told, No Potion Crows are worth more than Potion Crows. So keep that in mind too. Uh, neon Turtle, Neon uh, Frost Fury. And so this gives you an idea. If your dream pet is a pro, what you gotta try to aim for. So we're gonna go for something that might not be so difficult to maybe achieve uh, in getting. And let's start with, um, let's say this one over here. You know, this one was Neon Dancing Dragon Turtle, Neon Uni, Neon Golden Rat, Neon T Rat, um, Skelly Rex. Or you could look at this offer over here, which was the four uh, turtles and the phoenix. So if you come here and you say, okay, a crow's worth about four turtles and a neon phoenix. Well, the next step you gotta do is how do you get that amount of turtles? How do you get that phoenix? Like it takes a lot of legendaries because once again, the turtle does have quite a bit of value. So if you come back to the pet value list, uh, the main screen of the pet value list, you're gonna see that the turtle is ranked just below the albino monkey and the Christmas egg. So if you click on turtle, so your first goal will obviously be, well, I wanna get some turtles. So if you look at turtles, this is gonna show you what turtles are trading for. So you have a mega black panther. Um, oh, that's a neon one, Never mind. Uh, but here you have a turtle is traded for a kangaroo Aussie egg or a turtle's traded for two strawberry bat dragons, four Capricorns. Um, this one was traded for a whole bunch of ride potions and a blue scarab. This one was traded for a blue dog, a neon a shark puppy and some ride potions. And this one was traded for a neon chameleon. So you kind of see the gist of, this is the type of pets I need to try to work up to, to be able to get a few turtles to then maybe offer for a crow. Um, the way I like to start is I start with commons. Um, and we're going to go a little bit into that today, but we're not going to dive into full detail because that'll be the next series, guys, because I don't want these videos to be way, way too long. But what I mean by we start with commons. So if I scroll all the way down, if I scroll all the way down, uh, I look at what commons I have because commons are the easiest to make me up. It's the fastest pet to make me up. So the goal is to get a few of like the newer commons. So like, let's say here, we got the mongoose, right? So we could easily go ahead and make a neon mongoose. Um, I could make a neon flying fish, a neon dog. Uh, and then I go through and I look at well, what else can I make neon? I already have a neon angel fish. I could make a few more neon angel fish. The reason why you do that is, well, you could get like two neon commons of from like the new urban egg or the previous eggs or neon dogs neon cats neon ants things like that you can get two neon commons and start trading them for legendary pets um the goal is to build up your legendary inventory and we're going to talk a little bit about that in the next video but the easiest way to start that is utilizing whatever new event is there and utilizing your common pets to make neon commons and on commons are decent to do that as well. So 
stay tuned guys this is going to be a series so this is the first video I'm going to try to keep them within 10 minutes each um but this is the gist of it first step is visit adoptmetradingvalues.com see your dream path see what it's currently trading trading for and then we're going to start talking about creating that strategy to get the pets to trade for those green pets guys guys make sure you subscribe comment your robux username for chances to win we do lots of giveaways we have a ton of events coming up guys halloween update is about 10 days away or nine days away not sure gotta look at that weather map thing again the halloween update is an incredible time to get pets grind to try to trade for higher tier pets to get the pets that you want so keep that in mind also we'll talk about that in the next video guys we're gonna do one of these videos pretty much every day again there'll be five to ten minute series uh this is the first one once again hope you like this video hope you like the content and we will see you tomorrow on another episode of alex real nft plays adopt me strategy towards your dream pet bye y'all